Hello everyone and welcome back for a quick update. If you remember about six, seven days ago we did an, a test of the current water chemistry before adding the pothos plant and I all I did was just leave the water as is and I went ahead and did another test today to see where our levels are at um, prior to adding the new plants. Um, so let's take a look. Now I know that these colors are going to be hard to see on the camera, but pH um, is a little low. It's hovering around 6.4, maybe even 3 or 6.2, uh, which hasn't changed a whole lot since the last time. And that was to be expected since the soil is essentially taking care of that for us. This is where it gets exciting. If you remember from the last video, we were sitting at about two parts per million in, on the ammonia. Right now, it's... It's not at 0.25, it definitely looks more yellow and it's hard to tell on the camera, but here with the daylight, I would say it's a smidge above zero, but I, I can barely tell. So um, it's a good sign, which means that the ammonia is being taken care of, whether by the plants or by the bacteria, either way, it's being taken care of. And I'm sure the plants absolutely help since pothos is known to uh, really help with managing chemicals. Nitrite, a lovely zero. And here we are with nitrate, and this has skyrocketed. We're sitting at about 40, um, if not even a little bit higher, uh, which obviously if this tank was stocked, stocked, sorry, um, that wouldn't be good, but because it isn't, it's great. It's telling me that we have an active cycle going. The ammonia is being neutralized and converted over to nitrite, which is remaining at zero, and we're getting a lot of return waste in nitrate. And all I need to do now is just start with some routine water changes and probably still test the water maybe once every few days, just mostly on the ammonia and nitrate. Um, sorry, ammonia and nitrite, just to make sure we don't have like a shift in the cycle, which can occur with a newly established tank. But if you remember, we did have some existing media that was added. It just wasn't a whole bunch. But if we have a good colony there, it'll start to feed the rest of all the surfaces in the tank we have lots of stones one underneath there and then of course all the soil and even the little extras on there um, so this is really exciting which means i think we're safe to add a beta all right well i think the little test was a success uh, this is the first time i've added pothos to any tank but obviously any immersed growth so any growth out of the water will help in suck up sucking up nutrients um, since they have so much access to co2 um, and then of course we used existing media and we didn't rush in adding any fish or livestock so thanks for tuning in and um, i'll make sure to give you future updates take care